Hey everybody, it's Jason with Rotoboss Rotary Attachments. Today we're going to go over the all new Rotoboss Talon Chuck Rotary. In this video we're going to go ahead and describe a little bit about the rotary and go over the features of the rotary. So stay tuned, we're going to get right to it. All right, so with this rotor, we've made quite a bit of uh, improvements to what's on the market out there, um, kind of put our stamp on things. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what those are, starting with our adjustability features with the thumb screw. You loosen the thumb screw, you got full articulation. Um, it also has a guide rail and a stop, and then you have your two pivot points there. So you just find your position go ahead and tighten it down lock it in place uh, with this feature also you have a set of holes here in the back to which you can actually take the rotary off and mount it in a vertical position so that way if you have um, if you're doing fiber and you want to do a turntable style setup you can do that with this as well by just repositioning the motor to the back here in a vertical position the other thing about the adjustments is uh, it's ambidextrous, so it's on both sides. It comes on the side that it's set up for, but if for some reason you set it up to where this side of the rotary is facing you, you can just swap the two, the bracket and the thumb screw over to this side and you have the same uh, range of movement and functionality with it that way as well. <clears throat> Another unique feature that you won't find on, I don't think any other Chuck style rotary is we actually have a collet lock. What that does is for making adjustments here, you can hold it down basically so it's two hand operation. You don't need anything special. You just hold that, tighten it down. Um, and it really comes in handy if you have really heavy, heavy objects, you can push the button down, lock it and really crank down on the, the collet on the back here. Another feature that we've added to this rotary is the um, open stops. So basically you can open this up to the full lock position and all your jaws stay in and it won't go any further, it stops. Um, so this prevents the jaws from falling out, um, which can kind of be of a pain. I mean, if they did, they're numbered one, two, three, four. So you can easily just put them back in in that same order and everything will line up. But we've added the, uh, the lock mechanism to prevent it from opening any further. So that way you don't have to worry about the jaws falling out when you're using it. <clears throat> another, another feature of this too is um, on our jaw plates here, we have, I think it's eight different holes for different locations of things. And this comes in handy for some of the attachments, uh, the add-ons that, uh, that you can put on here for different situations. And we're, we're gonna be ever expanding that based on the needs of, of the customer. But for right now, we have some we'll show you here in a minute. Um, but this, the range of motion on this is almost two inches open to close. So you, you have a wider range of things that you can do without having to swap, swap the position, positioning of your rubber feet. So another feature that we have here is we have a height adjustability. Um, so you have a, quite a few height adjustments that you can make here to extend this up to, I believe it's about an inch to inch and a half from full down to full up, um, which allows you to do things like dog bowls and things like that. Uh, and you can quickly just swap that out or take the, take these bolts out. Um, and you'll have a set of thumb screws that come with it too. You can use either or. Um, I just use the bolts because you can get them tighter and it's just more secure that way sometimes. Um, but yeah, so you have a uh, nice adjustability here for various size objects and your machine as well. If, if you're kind of limited on space, you want to put it down all the way. Um, so that way it's easier to, to utilize. 
All right, so another feature we have here on the Rotoboss Talon is the pinch bolt mechanism that you can see down inside here. Uh, what that allows us to do is actually pinch the uh, shaft with the, the motor mount, so to speak. Uh, it allows you to index and keep it tight on the shaft, as well as some of them will have an actual grub screw that helps hold it in there as well on the smaller shaft motors. But other than that, uh, this feature allows us to um, prevent slipping or you know things loosening up and it keeps everything kind of tight and in place. If you get this this unit, uh, the, the standalone with extended base, you're going to get exactly what you see here, um, along with your extension pieces for doing things like dog bowls or something similar to it, where you have a large, um, large, larger opening that you need to grab. And all you do is you unscrew whatever um, rubber bumper you have on there and then you're going to grab the plate and the plate has three holes that are not tapped and it's got three holes that are tapped so you're going to take any one of the three holes doesn't matter it really just depends on how much reach you need um, you're just going to take the thumb screw you're going to place it in one of the holes and then with because it's indexed on the back you don't have to worry about it rotating or anything and it's just a single thumb screw that holds it in place instead of several bolts so you just put it on there Tighten it down, you're good to go. And then just thread your, whichever rubber pad that you want to put on there, just thread that on there and you're good to go. All right, so the next thing we have here is we have our extended jaw. I don't, that's kind of what I'm calling them. <laughs> um, what these are for, this is an optional item. It does not come with the rotary. Uh, however, you can get it as a, a add-on through the parts and accessories tab on the website uh, once they are available. And what these what these do are a couple different things. Um, one, if you notice, they have the serrated teeth on the inside and the outside. I had several people that do woodworking, uh, do bowls and things like that, and they want to be able to grip it. Well, with the rubber rubber feet. They can grip pretty well, but if you're doing wood or longer objects or wood or bowls or things like that, um, these little gripping teeth will actually come into play there. As you might have seen on a previous video, you know, holding the motor in place with the rotary, um, just as an example of some of the stuff you can do. <clears throat> and the way they, they mount, you're going to have um, a set of bolts. And you'll also have the thumb screws from the extension pieces that you can use either or, just depends on what you're doing. Um, if you use these, you're gonna have a little bit less clearance um, to grab something. So if you're, you're grabbing something, then you probably wanna use a bolt to get a low profile on that. But again, these are indexed, so you don't have to worry about them turning or rotating when you're using them. And they can go anywhere on this, this jaw itself. And another good thing about this is once you get it in place, Let's say you have a small glass or something of that nature. And uh, obviously with this smaller, there could be potential of, of the head hitting the, the rotary. So these extend the rotary out and then you can just slide the rubber pad to feed on there and you can grip it from the inside or the outside. And that extends it away from the head. That way as your, your uh, overswing from the laser, you don't have to worry about it hitting the head. So kind of kind of a dual purpose there. Um, allows you to do a, a large variety of different things with it and just makes it more kind of practical, I guess, for, for any given situation. You will also get the uh, a set of the rubber feet or pads. You'll also get the thicker pads that you see on here. So you'll get actually three sets of pads You'll get the, the thicker ones there. You'll get some uh, shorter studs here, and you'll also get the longer studs here as well. Um, just for pretty much anything that you, you could want or need to do, you'll have all the options available there. Um, the good thing about the, these little ones is you can actually take the rubber off, and you can use these for things like rings um, and stuff like that to hold them in place. Uh, so it's kind of not, not, not the best for it, but, um, it does work. 
And um, we're going to look at modifying this a little bit to have a groove in it at some point. So it'll, it'll better accommodate, or we'll actually just come up with some, some new ones specifically for that. Okay. So we have <clears throat> several different configurations for the chuck to work with. We have the daredevil, which is the ascend with the, the chuck attachment on it. So it's a combined unit. We also have this unit, which is the standalone with extended base. Uh, this is good for pretty much any machine, fibers, CO2s, and, and all that stuff. Um, but we also have a dedicated mount here for the fiber machines, or the Galvo machines, rather. Um, this bolts down to your bed. You got some, some adjustments front and back. You can also mount it here to get side and side. So you got several different uh, adjustments available to you on that. And then essentially all you would do is you would you would unbolt it from the uh, support base and then mount it basically directly onto the, the fiber base. And again, what that allow you to do is just to quickly and easily switch between CO2 and um, your Galvo base laser. So you don't have to have two machines. You just take it off of one, you put it on the other, if you wanna use it on the other. Uh, providing they both have the same connectors and they both run off the same controller. Uh, Thunder would be the only one that would be different. You can't use a Thunder motor on, um, let's say, a high ocean fiber or even an OMG or anything like that because the motors are different. But if you have a Thunder Galvo and a Thunder CO2 laser, you could easily swap between. And same thing with the, uh, the other motor setups here. You could, you could do that as well. All right, so with the Talon Chuck rotary, the most important feature or the most unique feature of this rotary is the fact that it has four jaws. Uh, unlike the traditional uh, rotaries and others on the market today, uh, they are typically a three jaw. And uh, so we decided to go with a four jaw because uh, having a woodworking background, I know what the advantages are of this. And typically they're, they're adjusted individually However, we have established um, a self-centering setup for the four jaw, and this makes it really quick and easy. So like say if you have things like rocks glasses or uh, something square and you wanna engrave all the way, not all the way around it because it's not gonna do it with the laser, but like if you wanted to do it in sections or however you wanna use it, uh, it makes it a lot easier to grab uh, objects. And it also has the added advantage of gripping things a lot stronger without having to apply as much force as you normally would with say a three jaw um, because your your load is distributed evenly over four spots instead of three and as it rotates you have less dead space between the jaws which um, prevents things from wanting to kind of droop as it turns because of the weight you're pretty much supported almost all the way around by having all four jaws so um, and that's why we don't have uh, any support system. We do have a capability of it. We do have the Ascend arm uh, that can go with this and, and act as your support if you need it. Um, but in our experience and what we've done with this, uh, we haven't had any need for support. We've done everything from you know, shot glasses up to two and a half pound glass beer mugs uh, without any issue. All right, so with this rotary, this is I guess you consider a compact version. Um, with this version here, the, the Talon with the extended base, you can put this in, in everything from like the Thunder laser bolt uh, all the way up to your biggest laser machine that you have. And with the bolt, when you purchase this for the bolt, <clears throat> you're actually gonna get four mounting brackets with it. Um, so you can use these mounting brackets. They basically just mount in place of where the magnets are on each on each side and what this does is it, it suspends the rotary um, inside the bed of the thunderbolt and allows you to get the most clearance out of your machine that you possibly can also for doing you know handled objects things of that nature as well so these come in handy and they also like i said they're included with the uh the purchase for the the thunderbolt laser uh, <clears throat> and like I said, if you don't need them, you can just take them off and then you can just use it regularly on, on the bed of your laser um, for your much larger lasers. And you can also um, position this 
on some Galvo beds if the bed's big enough. Uh, but realistically, the, the Galvo mount, I think, is more practical for that uh, just because it's a solid, rigid mount. And because of the different types of beds, we don't have a, a fixed mounting system for this setup here. Uh, so it's just a little bit easier to, to do it with the actual Galvo mount. <clears throat> All right, so with this rotor, we made some, some last minute improvements. So we are still gonna be shipping these out February 1st. Uh, they will not have the improvements on them. However, when we get the parts in March, you will get the replacement parts at no cost to you. Uh, everything will be shipped out in a package and you'll receive that. And we'll have a detailed video coming soon that we'll post on how to um, to swap those parts out. It's a really simple process to do because there's only a couple pieces that need to be swapped out and they're easy to get to. So, um, and if you have any questions or problems, we can always you can always send it back to us. We'll make the adjustments and we can send it back to you. So there is that option available as well. So I don't want anybody to feel like they're getting scammed out. <laughs> We're going to make sure everybody gets uh, the right parts. It's just we wanted to get these out. Uh, by the due date and like i said i made a very last minute decision on the um, open stop and the bracket for the uh, especially for the thunder motors uh, anybody that has a regular two or three phase the bracket's fine um, the the bracket for the thunder motors is a little bit tight more than i wanted so we had had a change made to that and those are coming as well so very simple and easy things to swap out um, and like always i'll be here to help you along the way so if you have any questions uh, you can always reach out to me and I'll be glad to help you. So with that being said, again, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you in the next video and we'll see you next time.